Hey, 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 hey. I made a carrot. You... <laughs> See? Are you farting in the bathtub? What's no, going on? Oh, I made a carrot shape with what is the... that? What are those bubble sounds I hear? The bubble bath? Uh, hello, it's Marconi and uh, Sierra Cake. Uh, we are on uh, my iPhone, and this is a live Spreaker in the Raw podcast. Literally, because Sierra's in a bubble bath right now. I'm just sitting next to her <laughs> on the toilet. Yeah. That's what, what do you do on a Saturday night? Come on. Yeah. You know you want it. <laughs> Seriously, I, that song is not even like brand new anymore, and I can't get it out of my head. I'm always like that one, and we can't stop. And we can't stop. But you always do like the weird versions. Well, doesn't every guy? I mean, that's that's the only way you tolerate popular music. Oh my girls with the big butts. All the big fat ass big sluts. So you're allowed to say slut. Why, why wouldn't I be allowed to say sluts? I'm not allowed to say anything about you know what. Yeah, but you're talking about like... Yeah, you, but it was a You know what? Movement. Hand signals don't really work on podcasts or radio or any kind of form. I was avoiding saying it because I didn't want you yeah, to Yeah, ma- make sure you do as many hand signals on the podcast as you possibly can. <laughs> or, yeah, that's good. <laughs> All those are good, too. Yeah, this is a great podcast. Um, so Sierra is in a bath, and um, we on Saturday we ran around, and actually we realized that um, Linda Lovelace, the porn star, is buried um, in the place where we are, so in a cemetery. Like she's the one from Deep Throat, and we just watched what was the movie called? Lovelace. It's the movie story of her life, right? Yeah. And it was really good. What what was the girl's name that plays her? Amanda Seafried. Seafried, and she is in Mean Girls. Who did she play in Mean Girls? Karen. And uh, she also played the BFF of Veronica Mars the first season. That was like the whole plot of Veronica Mars, finding out who killed her uh, best friend. She was in Mamma Mia. She's been in like tons of stuff. Yeah, and she's a really she's good actress. A good actress, yeah. And she was really good in that. And you got to see her boobies. I think that's her first like mature topless role. <laughs> now she's finally made it. Yeah. But um. She has nice boobies though. Nice boobies. Ooh. You know what the best part is? Like watching um, a movie like that with your girlfriend. And she's like, uh huh, yeah, those are nice boobies. You yeah. just made bubbles that look like a butt. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're getting at... into the new meaning of bubble butt. <laughs> bubble butt. Bubble butt. It really does. It looks like you're parting an ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you just you destroyed the ass. Build it again. Come on. There we go. It, it took it took you like ten minutes to get that ass that big. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it only took 10 minutes to get my ass that big. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so, um, like Saturdays, so that's literally like what we did today. We went, um, we were going to this Rhett and Link uh, meetup. And this is, we did, I probably won't talk about this anywhere else. And like I say, I always will probably delete these things. But Rhett and Link um, had this thing called Mythicon. And basically, I think it was an idea from their website, uh, Rhett and Link Community. And they, uh, the fans wanted to do like these little meetups. Rhett and Link couldn't be at them, but they did these meetups at like, um, I don't know, mall, cafe, mall uh, food courts. And we went to the one in our area and no one was there. And it was kind of disappointing because I'm like, maybe nobody showed up and they just gave up. Like Because we were only like, because it was supposed to be at one o'clock and we were only like 40 minutes late. And Rhett and Link, I, I, I thought we were more popular, so I was like kind of surprised that nobody was there. But it, it, it's probably every other city that had it was probably awesome, and ours was just lame. I don't know. Why do you keep trying to like distract me while I'm talking? I'm sitting here talking about I made something. a swan in the bubbles, and I'm super proud of it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. I swear to God, she's not high on anything. This is just her personality. She, she, like, she's like, oh, look, a shiny thing. and then, <laughs> but I'm like a crow. What's a, what's a crow? Yeah, crows like shiny things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never heard that before in my life. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. No, everybody knows. Oh, sure, yeah. Okay, tell us in the comments. Have you ever heard anybody ever say, 
I'm like a crow. I like shiny things. Is that like – that's like a thing people say in yes. Canada? No, it's a thing that normal people say everywhere if they compare themselves. If somebody oh, like, you must oh. hang around with a lot of normal people. Nobody wants that. Ugh. Boring. <laughs> so, um, So that was disappointing. And then we kind of hung out and we went to this place. What was the place we ate today called? It's like healthy something? Fresh Lifestyle, I think it was called. Oh, okay. Or Fresh Living. Oh, okay. We, you had an avocado smoothie? Avocados and cream is what it was called. Yeah. And I've been wanting to try this avocado smoothie since... Uh, the, the 70s? No, since I was back in Canada, but our location shut down randomly because there was a bunch of construction on the road, so I think it just didn't get busy. It wasn't enough. fresh enough. No, I don't think it was busy. They weren't able to get any fresh ingredients because the roads well, were closed. Well, needless to say, I had to wait, and I made one at home, and it was not very good, but this one was yummy. It tasted like a vanilla shake. Yeah. I would have it, it every... It tastes more banana than the avocado, but it definitely had, like, that really smooth texture. Yeah. I, I, we shared. I had, like, a pomegranate one, and she had that one, and hers was definitely better. We swapped. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. So we did that. We did some shopping, and then we went over to this. We like this little uh, coffee shop that we always go to, and we went there. And then you got a coffee drink you didn't like. It always ends up like here's the thing: is like, I grew up like I can't waste food. It's just the way I was raised. Well, I wouldn't have wasted it, but you, I and, offered to give it to you if you didn't want it. I would. So like it. I had a chai latte, and then Sierra's drink. <laughs> so like, and now I've got like this. And I had two coffees before I left this morning. Oh, no. And then, so I'm like, ah! You're buzzing. No wonder I have a headache. But, I don't know. So then we went to look for Linda Lovelace's gravesite, and that was kind of sad. Like, we felt, like, you go to a, 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 a cemetery, and you feel, like, weird, because, you know, you're walking around dead people's graves, and then you look. We found a little girl's grave, and she was born the day before I was, like, my, like her birthday was November 22nd, and she died, like, a year later, like, less than a year Not later. Even, yeah. And it was so weird, because you think, like, she'd be the same age as me. Yeah. And she's not even, didn't You're even... You're a day older than her. Yeah. It's insane to think. So, like, little stuff like that kind of puts things in perspective for you, but we couldn't find Linda Lovelace's... Maybe somebody just said that to throw people off. I don't think so, because she died in a car accident in Denver. Yeah. And everywhere that... Oh. What? Anyway. <laughs> so what do you... Did you just make another butt in the bathtub? Beautiful. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. So who knows? Like we, couldn't find, we couldn't find... And we even know her real name. Like on the internet, it said... Like what's her real name? It's Linda... Borman. Borman. And we couldn't find it. And, and, like, usually you Google, like, some a famous person's um, grave site or something, and, like, somebody has already taken a picture of it, and there weren't any records. So we're, like, kind of excited. We're like, we'll be the first to invade the family's privacy, yeah. like, and post it on the internet. Well, I felt kind of bad, like, once we were there. I was like, oh, like, this feels kind of like... Yeah. Like, like touristy, almost. I yeah, know. but, like, the movie did just come out. Like it just Well, it was just kind of interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about it because like, I'm gonna say something. Like her life was interesting and I think it was well, we were kinda of going, Holy crap, she's buried like not very far from here. And it was weird, right? Yeah. So I don't know. But anyway, so um I think and then then what did we do after that? That we went to the store we went then we went to Hobby Lobby <laughs> today. Right beside the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The cemetery is right by a a library, and then we were like, and a church. <laughs> it was weird, and we missed the turn off because, like, in like most cemeteries, there's like a little dirt road that goes up there, and instead of driving in there, we're like, oh, let's just park in the next parking lot, and we had to. We had to creep with, between a fence to get in the like cemetery. Like between the wooden logs. And I almost didn't make it. It was sad. Oh. Uh, but anyway, so, I don't know. Like, we just do normal couple stuff. Like, you know, you just kind of run Stock around. graveyards. <laughs> yeah, that's normal, right? Look, I made a mustache. Oh, now you made a mustache. Oh, yeah. Mustache rides for free up in here. What? What? I'm not allowed to say anything. That's right. Well, you you don't know the limitations because you're. Apparently, you're, I, I feel like I. 
I'm going to get scolded every time I talk. You're not a professional as well. No, I'm not. One day you'll learn your lesson. Okay. Just give it a while, you All know? Right. Like, just w- watch what I do, and then you'll be like, oh, I can do, okay. I guess we'll leave it to the listeners. Well, you know what the problem is? Is a lot of people, because Sierra said something, and we were just, like, getting on iHeartRadio, and I was like, well, I kind of like this, but then I realized iHeartRadio doesn't even publish any of our podcasts. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh, thanks for the free pro upgrade, Spreaker, but um, when you go to iHeartRadio, like, the, I did a podcast with you on Wednesday, and it still isn't up. I'm like, uh. That's weird. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, so I was kind of like concerned, and Sierra said something on one of our podcasts. I'm like, well. It wasn't even like that bad. I didn't say anything bad. It was just a joke, but. Yeah. I got, I got reprimanded. Well, because like, okay, so I thought, you know, like this is a good thing. It's a great plat- platform, and like we're getting a lot of new listeners. And I just. I'm always like, hey, you can always do things in a family way that's not overly, like, crude and rude. And so, and I've been in radio, so I know, like, what the limitations are. But the problem is, is people will come into radio, and they want to know what they can't say. And you're like, don't worry about it. I have a button. You know what I mean? Like, and on Spreaker, there's no button to, like, go, oh, we have can't say that. Whoops. Let's, yeah, so. Whoopsies. So that's why I, I think Sierra is probably going to be... More of a pre-recorded person on podcasts. I just can't help myself. Sometimes. You can't be trusted. Oopsies. But like late at night, who cares? We'll delete these anyway. No, we won't. Stop <laughs> saying that. Why? Because this is the bathtub, first bad bathtub. Oh yes, yes. The listeners love it. Tell us in the comments if you love it. <laughs> oh, they love it. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> it feels like we've been going on forever. It's only been eleven minutes. Well, I feel like we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about uh, I'll play some? I need. We need to be saying like some sultry music, and then you just talk to the. Uh, ba, 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 jim, jim. No, you're not supposed to do it. You're, <laughs> you're supposed to talk all like sexy. Hey, late night owls. <laughs> late night. I'm sorry. Go. <laughs> Feeling lonely on a Saturday night? Join us. In the bathtub, for the bathtub bathroom podcast. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh my god. <sighs> well, that's sexy enough. Hey, late night owls. <laughs> this is the best. Whatever. Uh, One day people are going to be trademarking my stupid sayings. Yeah, we need a t shirt that just says, hey, late night owls. <laughs> and gifting the hell out of them. Yeah, there you go. Well, wait till we start the vlogs. This, if you think uh, you like this, you're, wait till Me Plus Cake podcast comes out. Here. Yeah, at least then I'll be able to uh, edit her hey. for saying things like, hey, late night owls. No, just kidding. Rude. <laughs> Listeners are going to be on my side. You just watch. Oh, you're going to turn my own listeners against me? Yeah, they're going to love me. Okay. Well, that's if that's what you have Watch to do. Her, like, please get her off. Team Sierra, Team Baloney. Yeah. Which... Team Cake or Team Baloney? <laughs> Which team are you on? We'll make shirts. <laughs> team Baloney. What the hell? Who wants to be on that team? Exactly. I mean, you would. I you, already win. People would get Team Cake just because it says cake. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like if I said Team Bacon or Team Cake, I might win. <sighs> Bacon cake. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you don't like sweet and savory. You're not that kind of person. I don't like... Bacon is a little overrated to me. Food diva. Bacon is... I only like bacon if it's like almost burnt to a crisp. Food diva. I almost swore and I refrained. Did you like that? Food diva. Are you impressed? Oh, yes. With I'm my self-editing I'm skills? Impressed with your food diva-ishness. Hey, late night owls. <laughs> What is the saying? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. It just it sounds just, funny. Is it just night owls? I think just the way you said it. <laughs> it was funny. Hey, late night owls. You told me to be sexy. Well, well you did a... You tried. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. It's, it, was, it was fucking hot. Oh! Look who just dropped an episode. All right, let's not draw too much attention to it. Everybody makes a mistake there. I'm only human. I said butthole and I got in trouble. <laughs> now you know, you just said it again. <laughs>
<laughs> Just open the floodgates. Hey, late night beep, owl holes. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> All right. So, are you done with your bath? How long do you usually? Well, I'm I'm feeling a little sweaty, so almost. Yeah. You want me to? You want me to let the water out of the tub? Yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> I don't actually. Late night, Alice. You want to let the water out of your tub? Yeah. Okay. So let the water out of the tub, and then when the, by the time the water's gone, then we'll the podcast will be over. Okay. Go into the bedroom. I'll join you in a moment. No, 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 no. Late night, Alice. No. Really... <laughs> no, I was gonna keep talking to you until oh, it's over. Oh, I was gonna over. say it's gonna be really loud, though. I think. No, it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> That's what we want, so people know what's really happening. Oh That's... my god. We didn't make this up. It's not a sound effect. <laughs> No, don't splash my phone. I'm not. So, late night owls. Yeah, late night owls. <laughs> what are you doing with your Saturday night? Now we're going to go and watch, what are we going to watch? Something scary, probably. Off of Netflix? Maybe. Do you, so you don't like Netflix, you're already over it? Oh, Netflix, sorry, I thought you were talking about Apple TV. Yeah, Netflix. I don't know, because some of the stuff they put on there, I just, am, what? <laughs> okay, yeah, for example... What was it? The ABCs of Death? Oh, God. That was probably the top five worst movies I've ever seen. I should do movie reviews for a living. Why don't you? Because I should. Why don't you? YouTube uh, movie reviews. You could do... Sierra Cake style. Yeah. Why not? So then this person... Cake on Cinema. Cake on Cinema. So that was like the worst one. What was the best one we've seen? The best one? We've seen a couple pretty good ones. You like Mad Men? You've never seen Mad Men before. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite. Television diva. I really like I like Breaking Bad and True Blood more. Yeah. Yes. True Blood. I love True Blood. No, Although the last two seasons. True Blood's not on Netflix though, is it? Uh, I don't no. think so. No. We're talking Netflix right now. Let's keep it to the you know. What do, What have we watched? Like, movie-wise, it's been really good. We watch everything. Mostly, like, killer movies. Like, serial yeah. killer, anything. I'm freezing. Oh, you need to get out of the bathroom? Yeah, I'm cold. Right, come on. Hand me a towel, late night owl. <laughs> what the hell? Late night owl style. Oh, yeah. I might have used that towel earlier. Oh, hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, hand it to me. My body is so moist right now. Ugh. <laughs> moist. I don't get it with girls and the word moist. It doesn't bother I me. I think I do sometimes. It rem- just I reminds think not, me just of Just now pink. I did. I think I got it. Moist. Ugh. <laughs> you, almost, you almost chipped your tooth. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm stepping out of the way so you have room to move. Hold me. Oh, okay. This is what couples do. Yeah. Late night owls. <laughs> <laughs> so Couples advice from the two late night owls. <laughs> Well, so I took like a three-hour nap, and you were pinning and Pinteresting for three hours. Yep. And uh, then I woke up, and you were like yelling at your dog. Probably. And uh, you're like, beige, and you just like cursed at her or something. <laughs> Probably, because she, she sticks me with her legs when she's under the blankets. Like, she just like pokes me like beige, this. Beige, can you not? And then like some... I bought a sweater that said, can you not? I'm so excited to get it. You bought that? You yeah, sh- I did. You sh- she'll show me something random and I'll just laugh and then she'll go, what? You gotta support my purchases. I'm like, what? No, Is it's just you, deal? You, yeah. always, you laugh at everything I show you. Oh, uh, yeah, because you shop like, literally 24 7. I do not. That's not true at all. That is true. No, it's not. Oh, look. Oh, wait. I, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen this before. What? See that right there? Yes. Uh, Chris Top says he's listening. Hi, Chris. And we can, he's listening to us. What is he? I can't really read his logo. It's like TC... TP? TCTP? Well, thank you, Chris Top. That's that's crazy. He's a late night owl for sure. That's right, Chris Top, the late night owl. <laughs> see, this is what is cool about Spreaker. Like, you could, but this, I didn't know you could see that. If I hit this, do I see other people or does that shut me off? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can chat to him. What should I say to Chris Top? Hey, late night owl. Hey, late night owl. Late night owl. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, uh, exit right now. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. It said it. That's cool. I'd never seen that before. There you go. Well, there you go. We win. I, yep, so... Uh, and Chris Top wins. And Yeah, Chris Top is the guy that's listening to us right now. The one, the one lonely 
Not lonely. I don't know that. The one lone ranger. Maybe he just got home from partying. We don't know. Yeah, well, he has more of a life than we do. Probably. Well, he wasn't uh, looking for Linda Lovelace's gravesite today. <laughs> like a little couple of creeps. <laughs> well, she, uh, you know, how long? She died like 10 years ago? 11 years ago? 2002. Yeah, so um, she's been dead a while. And uh, we decided, we saw the movie, and then every time we watch a movie about a true life story, Sierra... We Google it. We get, oh, the Toynbee one was really good. Oh, the Toynbee idea. <sighs> what was it called? It was called Death of the Toynbee Idea? No, it was like the toy- the mystery of the Toynbee tiles or something like that. Oh, okay. Just Listeners, go- late night owls, have you guys ever seen a, a Toynbee tile in real life? Do you know oh, what yeah. that is? <laughs> but first you should probably watch the movie. You could just Google. You it. might not know what it is, like yeah, Toy and Bee tile. But the Toy and Bee movie on Netflix is really awesome, and the guy himself, that's the main guy in it. Um, I emailed him because his artwork is amazing, and I want to get a piece of his artwork. Yeah. So and he emailed me back. I'm like, dude, I just watched your thing. famous. It's so weird. I've been on radio for a long time in my life in my career. But I still get, like, excited. But I get excited about, like, geeky things. Little like guys, like, like YouTubes and stuff. Yeah, I'm more excited about, like, talking to a YouTuber than I'm excited about talking to, a, like, a bonafide celebrity. Bonafide. Yeah, you know what I mean? What Late is, Night Owls. What does bonafide mean? I don't know, but I have the worst headache above my eye. I have one right here. You do? Yes. On your top of your head? Yes. What the hell? And right here. Yeah. Sinuses. We've had, like, horrible sinus trouble this year. I think we just need to, like, thoroughly dust and vacuum. I think it's the excess I pet hair. I can't wait for that. Just a day of vacuuming and dusting. Fuck yes. <gasps> you did it again. You did it again. <laughs> it's Well, the late night owls don't mind. No, they Cr- don't. Chris, Chris Top is cool with it. Yeah, he is, right? Like, if Chris Top didn't like that, he'd be like, yo, look. What is this? He accidentally comes on. He's like, what is this? <laughs> like, I, I, well, he said hello. I mean, he wanted to, to say hi, so there you go. He did? Oh. Yeah, that's what that thing is. It's a little chat. Oh. See? Listening. Yeah, he's listening with a smiley face. TCTP, Chris Top. Go listen to him. Uh, yeah, everybody. We support him. Go listen to Chris Top because he's listening to us. And then you listen to him. And then he listens to us some more. And then Chris Top will tell other people about our podcast. And then so on and so forth. Right? Or he'll sign a restraining order. Yeah, worry. probably. <laughs> like, the, like the Linda Lovelace family is oh, probably going to do. Um, oh, we heard that on your podcast that you're going looking for our mother's grave. Great. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that! Stop it's a waste! It. Stop it forever! Yeah, so. Uh, well, it looks like the bathwater is drained out, but there's giant amounts of bubbles in there. Uh-huh. And uh, that's nice. Because so. you like to lick the bubbles sometimes. She does? Should we put her in the bathtub? No, she'll die. Oh, she will? Probably. That's a lot of bubbles. That's like a foam party. Foam <laughs> party. Are those things real, like in real life? I think. I don't oh, know. God. I would shoot my child if they ever did that. Good thing you're not having children. <laughs> Very good thing. Um, <laughs> that, that's another thing. Well, we have to talk about that in a future podcast, Me Plus Cake. I think so. But I think we've, been, we've done enough teases, don't you, for our future I think so. I think we should just get it, get to going. <laughs> As they say. Wow, who says that? The same people who say late night or the crow thing. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> again. What? You swore again. A bastard isn't a swear. You think swearing is bad? Listen, late night owls. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> is bastard a swear? <laughs> All right. Well, I said the f word a couple of times. I'm sorry. I know. I've been. No, so, I'm not sorry. I've been so. Damn good. it! I'm not sorry. Can I just say one swear word? No. Oh. Don't you don't just swear to swear. I did. That was emotional. It just happened. Right. It out came of me. From the soul. Yeah, but if you just swear to swear, it's like you know. That's just trashy. Yeah. Don't be trashy. You know, it, it's uh, because you can say the f word in real life. Do I say it all? That's the thing. Okay, in real life. When we're just talking, mm-hmm. we hardly ever swear in front of each other. Right. What, you do? I feel like I swear sometimes. I don't hear you. Really? Maybe I just keep blocking you out. Oh. Anyway, bath time is over. Beige, look at Beige. We're, okay, so now we're in the bedroom, and Bijou, um, do we have any pictures on the internet of Bijou? Oh, Bijou Lots. Cake. Follow <laughs> Bijou Cake, B-I-J-O-U Cake. On, on Twitter. <laughs> She likes to tweet. Yeah, we're yeah we're those people. Right we're those people who have a dog that uh, we tweet for. I mean that tweets. Right, Beige. Uh, she's a solo artist. 
Yeah. She doesn't need nobody. Oh, she's so cute. So cute! We lost a follow her. We did? Fun, yes. What'd you do? On the... On the bijou cake. Oh, I thought you were talking about... Wait, see, now you're totally distracted by something else. Something Sorry. else shiny. Like a crow. Alright, night owls and crow people. <laughs> That's a band right there. Late night owls and crow people. Tonight. Um, so, yes. I hope that... I really have a bad headache... And it's one of those, well, it's not bad. It's like low grade, but those are annoying, you know? The ones that just linger and don't go away. Yeah, I and I have, I have nasal problems. I can't breathe through my nose, uh, you know. So why don't I just end it all? You don't ever say something like that. I meant the podcast. Oh. <laughs> How dare you. Oh. And Beige is already cuddling with me like, hey, it's time to she just. She is so in love with you. She is? How could she not be? I mean, look at me. She follows after her mama. Are you jealous? She of our follows little... after her mama. Are you jealous what Bijan and I have? I just gave you the biggest compliment and you should appreciate. Oh, I was blocking you out again. Oh. I have Bij now. That's Ugh. okay. That's really all I wanted. Whatever. I knew you had this beautiful dog and I was like, hey, when she comes here, I'm going to fall in love with that dog and then... That'll be it? Yep. And then you'll get charged for trying to be in love with a dog. <laughs> That's not legal. Uh, you just made it really weird. No, I, I didn't say anything perverted. Don't be, don't take you, it there. I, I, that I would get charged with being trying to be in love with a dog. What, what were you trying to infer? That you're gonna try and marry a dog. I, no, I'm not marrying her. Oh, we're just chilling, right? We're just cool. we we just have like a we have a fun time, right, Beige? Like I take her on walks so she can go to the bathroom, that kind of thing. Yep. We're tight like that. She pees. Yeah. If Poop. she pees for you, I'm sure Poop she pees. likes you. Is that Pulls. what? It, the, so if she goes number two, does that mean she really likes me? Yeah. Oh, or she just had to go. Yes. Okay. Well, um, we've been on long enough for twenty-seven minutes. This podcast. Oh, Lord. That's about uh, twenty-six and a half minutes too long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> as as Chris Top will attest. Well, thank you, Chris Top, and everybody else who is listening to this, whether it's live or unlive or whatever. We appreciate you, and we'll be back with more uh, podcasts produced and live both. Which do you like? Which do you prefer, live podcasts or produced podcasts? I like live ones, but then I get in trouble, so maybe produced. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sometimes like it's easier because you can edit stuff out you think is like not that great at the end, and with the live ones, you're like, oh, I'm just rambling on and on. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sierra's texting now, so I guess I'm not she's. Texting. I'm looking at cupcakes. She, you're what? Looking at cupcakes. Constantly, she's shopping for I'm something. I'm not shopping. I save stuff, but I don't buy everything I show Are you. you. Right now? No. I, I, that really does a lot good for the podcast. You're like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're showing me like a you, blank she's, screen. She just showed me a blank screen on her phone. Like, oh, okay, thanks. That's great. Yeah. That's great yeah. pod. Okay. Great, great pod, baby. Okay. All right, Bij, say good night. All right. Bye-bye. But, um, yes, we're going to go now. We'll be back soon. Thank you both for listening.